Hello. A few years back I got it into my head that I wanted to grow some mushrooms. I'd never grown them before and I wanted to give it a shot. So I'd go on the internet and find some mushroom spawn. Which is what I did. I purchased it. It duly arrived. I opened the packet. I read the instructions. And it was then I realised. This wasn't going to happen. I couldn't do it. There was too much work involved. For one thing. The mushrooms were going to need to be grown indoors. And I didn't have a shed. And at the time I didn't have a greenhouse. And because we are going to grow them in a mixture of straw and horse manure, there was no way they were going indoors. They had to be grown outdoors. Um, so I had to rethink my plan. And I came up with this. These plastic crates. I decided that if I lined these with some weed membrane, and if I then put a mix of straw and horse manure in this crate and if I then covered this over there might be a chance those mushrooms would grow. And I had three crates and I had enough to do three crates. And at the time I was doing that um, I was thinking surely there's an easier way than this. Could I not just put some of this mushroom spawn in the garden somewhere. Could I not just lift a sod, cut a turf, throw some under there? Anyway, th th that was my train of thought at the time. Um, and so, yeah, so I, I made these three crates up with the horse manure straw and mushroom spawn covered them over, stood them outdoors and I knew it was going to take months rather than weeks and I thought it might even take years rather than months but I left them a long long time and nothing, nothing and I'd also read that uh, insects or worms and things that live in the in the environment could eat this mushroom spawn and because these were standing outdoors and there was nothing to stop things crawling in and crawling out. It looked as though it was a failure to me. And so after quite a number of months, uh, when I didn't see anything appearing in here, I gave in. I gave in. And because I had some straw and horse manure here, and I didn't want to lose it, it's good material for a gardener, I just broadcast it on an empty raised bed. Uh, and forgot about it. And I know that quite a few visitors to the channel and subscribers said, said, hey, don't be surprised if when you throw that mushroom spawn out, it actually kicks into life. Um, but yeah, I forgot about it. Until last year. Until last year. Check this out, then come back to me. These look like mushrooms. We need to go and take a closer look. Okay, let's do it. Let's go pick the mushrooms.
Peraí, mostra ela. Okay, we're indoors now, we're not a minute too soon, it's just started to rain. Um, so we've been quite lucky today with the weather, we've got the three mushrooms um, and I managed to get Molly for a good walk this morning over our uh, local fields through the meadows and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but hey, look at these guys. Woo! Very nice mushrooms. Filled mushrooms. In fact, I've got a confession. <laughs> it was on the walk that I had this morning with Molly that I picked these mushrooms. They're not from the garden at all. They're actually wild filled mushrooms. But hey, that begs the question, uh, and really the reason why I'm shooting this video. If these guys will grow in the fields, okay, just in ordinary soil, through grass, then why can't we grow these at home, in the lawn, in ordinary soil, through grass? Now I know there are lots of different types of mushroom, and I know they um, vary in what they actually like to grow in and how they like to grow. But surely there's a market for these field mushrooms. I mean, if this is any different to a commercial mushroom, then why don't they sell the spawn of field mushrooms? So we can just sow them in the lawn. Has anybody ever done that? <laughs> I've tried, <laughs> haven't I? I tried all those years ago and I gave in. Um, and I've never tried since, other than to try and pull the wool over your eyes um, with this little uh, practical joke. But I'd love to grow these in my lawn. I'd love to be able to bring a packet of spawn home, um, to take out the turf, a sod, put that spawn underneath it, then relay that turf on top of the spawn, and however long it takes for mushrooms to grow in the lawn. Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't it? There's maybe a, a market out there for some entrepreneur, some entre entrepreneurial gardener that's watching this. Wild mushroom spawn that gardeners can actually sow in their lawn. I mean, can it be done? Have you ever done it? Do you know anyone that's ever done it? I'm, I'm not interested in building boxes and straw and horse manure and tarpaulins and, and all the work that goes into it. Um, I've got enough to do with the raised beds I've got and, and the gardening I do, but wouldn't it be nice just to get some wild mushroom spawn, um, plant it, uh, distribute it under a sod in the garden and just leave it doing no more than that, and then these guys grow. How good would that be? How good would that be? You know, it would be great. Anyway, so if you've ever done it, um, if there's a video out there on YouTube, send us a link, uh, tell us what you think. Um, and if it's never been done, well there's a challenge, isn't there? There's a challenge for someone. Grow mushrooms in your lawn or in your backyard. Just take out a sod and grow these guys. Can it be done? I've never done it and I've never seen it done. Um, but if it could be done and anyone's done it, please send us a link, tell us all about it. So, that was clearly um, a joke, wasn't it? That was, that was me having a laugh, so to speak. Um, and yeah, nothing, nothing that was the nearest I'd ever come to having mushrooms growing in the garden. That was up until this year. Hey, check this out.
Okay, now I know what you're thinking now. Because you saw that first clip of video, that the second clip of video might be manufactured. Just as the first one was. But there's nothing to stop me getting some button mushrooms from indoors and just placing them in the grass. Is there? There's nothing to stop me doing that. Provided I keep the camera well away, they look like mushrooms growing in the lawn, don't they? They do. In fact, you may want to try it on your partner. Get your camera at the ready, take some button mushrooms out, covertly of course, place them on the lawn, um, set the camera to record, then tell your partner you think there's mushrooms growing in the lawn. Hey, your partner will fall for it. They'll fall for it, they'll go out there, you'll have a laugh. You'll have a laugh. But don't tell them I said do it. Don't tell them I said do it. That's between me and you. Um, okay, so, yeah, you could, you could say, well, he's just placed them in the grass. Same as last time. And, uh, and I wouldn't blame you for doing that. But what I thought was, what I really need to do is, don't pick them. Leave them for a while and shoot some more video later on, perhaps a day later, two days later, three days later. Then you would actually see the mushrooms growing in the lawn. Hey, check this out.
So I call this video Mysterious Mushrooms and I called it that because they are a mystery. Where did they come from? Was it from spawn put under a sod, put under a turf years ago and it's taken it all this time to produce mushrooms? Was that it? Or has the spawn got into the garden another way? A mysterious way? I don't know. I just don't know how mushroom spawn is distributed. I think it's, it's blown by the wind and we certainly get plenty of wind in this garden but we're nowhere near your pasture land or farmland where wild mushrooms would grow um, we're too far away for that to happen so I don't know how these mushrooms have come to be growing in my garden what do you think? have you ever grown them yourself? have you ever grown them in your garden? in your yard? have you ever tried? have you ever pulled it off? hey if you have come back come back and uh, and tell us about it but this is this is a mystery as far as I'm concerned I, I just don't know how this has happened okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video this is homegrown veg signing out did I grow these mushrooms or did they grow themselves what do you think <laughs>